Hey, this is Mr. John, and I'm at the Decatur Public Library, and I'm here to introduce a brand new series that we're going to be showing called Folk Tale Fridays. And on Fridays, we're going to be telling a folk tale from somewhere around the world. Now, you might ask, well, what is a folk tale? Well, I'm here at the library in front of our folktale collection, hundreds and hundreds of books with stories from all over the world. But the interesting thing about a folktale is that long before it was written down, people just told these stories to one another. There are some folktales that maybe you've heard of many times, like Little Red Riding Hood or The Three Little Pigs. And then there are other folktales from other places around the world that maybe you've never heard of. And we're going to introduce different folktales from different places around the world. But today, to introduce this series, I want to teach you five things that help you recognize a folktale. And for every folktale that we tell, you be listening and you will see these things in each folktale. Now to help us remember them, I've got this little thing we're going to say together. So I'll say it, you say it after me. Once upon a time, three, seven, nine. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Good guy, bad guy, trick and treat. So again, once upon a time, three, seven, nine. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Good guy, bad guy, trick and treat. Now what's that mean? Well, almost every folk tale you hear is going to start out with once upon a time. It's not a true story. It's not a story from history. We don't even know when it was really supposed to happen. It's just once upon a time. And then three, seven, nine. Well, most folk tales are going to have something repeated in them, maybe three times, or seven times, or even nine times, like the story of the three little pigs, or the seven Chinese brothers. And then repeat, repeat, repeat. Well, since folk tales were first told before they were ever written down, they had to make them so they were really easy to tell. And so a lot of folk tales will have the same things repeated over and over again in the story. For example, in the story of the three little pigs, every time the wolf comes to a new little pig's house, he says, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So watch for that in folk tales. Good guy, bad guy. Most folk tales have somebody who's a good guy and somebody who's the villain, the bad guy. Like in the story of the three little pigs, it's the wolf. And then the last thing is trick and treat. Because most folk tales end with a surprise, a little trick that the good guy plays on the bad guy, and it gives you a fun treat at the end of the folk tale. So once upon a time, three, seven, nine, repeat, 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 good guy, bad guy, trick and treat. Start looking for our Folktale Fridays on our Facebook page and our website and see if you can spot these things. And we'll see you at the Decatur Public Library.